everyone it's me is everybody welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the preset or color grading like that so i want to say something about the color code uh, that means the main image was like that which has the four colors that means uh, one is in a face color another one is the dress up color another one is the window light and the last one is for the darkness so i just converted this one by the help of the camera filter and i just got this type of color in this photo and i made a preset for you guys and providing you that preset downloading in my description so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so i'm deleting this up and this one is my stock image i downloaded this one from deviantart.com if you want to get the download link please check out my video description press ctrl or command j you are getting another layer of this that means the copy of the main layer and you can give the name edit it could be the rename or you can't do that if you do the rename you will get the benefits about that so after that go to the filter and camera filter one thing is that this camera filter is updated into 12.3 if you want to get the download link of the updated version 12.3 of the camera filter please check out my video description and this one is free of cost and you don't have any kind of license key or other stuff just because of adobe giving you this one free of cost that 12.3 version and this one very smart and progressive interface which is uh, too much uh, like futuristic which is similar to the lightroom and you can use that things for your convenient so all the steps are uh, just uh, embed in this panel and you can expand and just collapse that things and you are getting all the steps over there here is some selected menu over there and you are getting the three dots which is the like image settings go to that settings and go to the load settings options so you will get the xmp file and load it up and after loading that you are getting the effects like that so let's just discuss about that what i have done already in this preset so here the temperature is 0 tint 0 and exposure that is plus 0 5 and the highlight that is minus 15 that's why you're getting some shadow and other stuffs and which is the most creative and the shadow that is minus 8 whites plus 6 and blacks that is minus 11 and then the next one the curves i just lock over there and over there and i made this one up for that you are getting the grammar over there and all the things is like that uh, i just got this point from the blue portion from the green portion actually which is uh, input value 167 output value 165 and detailing options you are getting sharpening amount that is 69 noise reduction 35 and color noise reduction 25 and color mixture i made the hue of the red plus 42 that's why you're getting the orange tone over there in a red portion and minus 18 for the orange you, in a phase you are getting like that and the yellow that is minus 26 that is green 65 blue minus 16 and saturation which is the percentage of color and minus 23 for the yellow and minus 83 for the green colors and luminance which is the intensity of the color that is plus 20 for the orange yellow that is plus 44 and green i made it down which is minus 45 and split toning most important thing so i just um, given you the example uh, where i changes that means in a color mixture i got the change and that color code i just updated into that and the split toning this one is another portion which is very important for the photo editing and uh, the overall tone toning that means the color grading in a highlight portion and the shadow portion you are splitting the two parts which is the shadow and highlight and here uh, plus 70 for the hue and saturation plus 32 and the hue for the shadow and that is 244 and the saturation 7 that's good and optic geometry i didn't touch that in a effect portion i made the vignetting which is the post crop vignetting minus 12 and the calibration which is the three primary colors one is the red another one green another one is blue 
the hue of the green primary plus 29 and the blue primary that is 24 that's good and then hit the ok button you are getting the change like that and after that go to the filter and nick collection color effects pro for this one is another plugins of the photoshop i want to make the photo more attractive that's why i want to use that if you want to get the downloading of these plugins please check out my video so in this panel you are getting lots of preset pack actually from here i want to make the photo more amazing and here the cross processing this one lots of method over here which one is perfect for your photography you have to find it out c04 is good for me and i'm making the percentage of the strength that is 21 and hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and providing you the final output of this so we are getting the photo main photo and the edited one so i made the color into that that's it and uh, here to here and here to there and you are getting the overall photo like that so hope that you just got many information from this video you learn a lot from this video actually if you have any kind of question query please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to get the downloading of the pc and the other plugins please check out my description and if you want to get the download link of this photo for the practice purpose please link in the description below until the next video i am ace and signing out today bye bye